Hi Scorpio, this is your 2019 reading for January. Um, Happy New Year's. Welcome to my channel. If you like this, please like. Oh my goodness. Like, subscribe, comment. <laughs> All that shit. <laughs> okay, so a whole huge stack. And the first one we have is Ten of Pentacles. So this is abundance. This is material wealth. This is getting... Um, it could, it don't just have to be money, it could be family, it could be figuring out, this light is really bright, sorry, this could be figuring out, um, who you are, this could be figuring out what you want to do with the rest of your life, tens are really important right now because we're in the end of a karmic cycle, so tens are, um, you need to figure out what you want to do for the next ten years, basically, um, don't break your own heart though, um, Live for now. We we spend a lot of time planning, and I don't. I think that you should write your goals down. Know what you want, but don't necessarily make such a hard plan for it because then we break break our own expectations. That's really the root of a lot of evil. I don't know if it's all evil, but to expect you is to know that it's not gonna go the way you think it's gonna go. It's always gonna go the way spirit wants it to go. The way the universe wants to wants it to go it never goes the way we want it to go. We can know what we want, but let's not put so much emphasis on how to get it so we don't break our own hearts. And that's where you get this ending. You have all these swords in your back. You're tired. You're wore out. You've been fighting for what you think is yours. And so with swords, with these two being um, 10 and 7, 17. Mm -hmm. Um, so these two to me, it's like, they're both very masculine energies, but wands are your passions and your desires, um, where swords is ideas. So you're exhausted from mentally going over all this shit, trying to figure out who's real, who's fake, what you should do, what you shouldn't do, which side you should be on. You've been fighting to defend it, but, and you've been killing your passions and your fighting or standing up for shit that could be fighting energy or it could be um this is definitely exhaustion to me and like so I was gonna say it could be possibly that you've been fighting your own mind and you've been killing your desires and dreams in the process or other people who could be killing your dreams. And you need to stand up and fight for that. Maybe you need to let all these ideas go that says you are wrong about whatever you want or whatever you are thinking during your own process of um, awakening or whatever, of your soul journey, your destiny, and people's not agreeing with it. So maybe it is time to, um, maybe it is time to stand up and start fighting for what you believe in. Um, and, ooh, 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 so you have, okay, the last four we have are these, we have the, um, four of cups, which is this cup I seen in Nima, it's always like, take the fucking cup, dude, they're giving you opportunity, they're giving you happiness, they're giving you, Scorpio, this is your opportunity, look at the fucking cup, and take the fucking cup, there's three cups over here that you keep looking at, but this one's the one that's given to you by the fucking divine. The divine are handing you this golden opportunity, Scorpio. Take your cup, drink your cup, celebrate this cup, whatever that cup is, whether it be a divine soulmate, whether it be divine clarity, whether it be a divine idea, whether it be going after your dreams, whether it be a new opportunity, something is going to happen. Take that fucking cup because... There is going to be a death of something, which are old selves. So, which will <laughs> Johnny Cash listen? The funeral we're going to is ours. <laughs> Period. So let something die. Let that old version of yourself that's worn out, old. That is. That's with the age of Pisces. Let that die. Let anything that isn't serving your highest good go. Um. All your 
fucking New Year's resolutions that you've already broke, <laughs> let's start those back up tomorrow. Because you have, ooh, this is the soulmate card with the Queen of Pentacles. Which means, if you do take the fucking cup and let this shit die, and stop fighting your own fucking mind and breaking your own heart, This is like, oh my god. This is the beginning and this is the end. So, these two cards are both, are like two of the happiest cards in the deck. It's like, you're gonna have emotional fulfillment and material wealth, material gains, whatever that be. And with the Queen of Pentacles, it says she, she's like the queen of like, creature, uh, comfort, cre creature comforts? Comfort creatures? Something like that. Creature comforts. I think that's what it is. I think there's a beer that I'm confusing this with right now. <laughs> Scorpio, though. Deadass. Okay. And this is your card, too. So you got... We, I'm a Scorpio moon, actually. We we like killing things. <laughs> we like death. We like letting these... And it's not a death. Because, you know, nothing actually dies. It's all a transfer of energy. This is like a transmutation. This is like a transfer of energy. This is like a... Phoenix energy rising from the ashes, getting up, wiping the fucking dust off your head, realizing you just got burnt to shit and saying, okay, come on, it's time to go. <laughs> like, let's just revel in our happiness and stop reveling in this mind, emotion, fighting. This is all, this is all the shit we need to let go right here. All this harsh masculine energy right here. With these swords and these wands, we need to let that go for a while and just get back to the raw, pure form of like this raw desire, passion, but not for like, and I'm saying in terms of energy, but it could be a person. I know I've been at, <laughs> I'm not even going to talk about it. I've had some weird shit go on this new year, but you have an opportunity, Scorpio. Don't pass your opportunity up. Now, the Queen of Pentacles could also be like you could be dealing with a um like an Earth sign like um ooh ooh I was gonna say Virgo Taurus Capricorn um but integration just popped for that card um or for the whole reading and basically that's what I get from this. It's like you're about to be merging with a divine. That this looks to me like soulmates. Like, this looks to me like a person. Um, but it could be two parts of yourself. It could be um, a divine friendship. It could be, you know, people coming together. Two people coming together for the greater good. Um, but this one's definitely, a, this is the soulmate part of the deck. But it's upside down, so maybe the, your opportunities already happened and you're not realizing that. It's right here in front of you, and now it's time to integrate these two sides, this light and dark, this, um, like, the masculine is, like, the eagle, where the woman was, like, the swan, and these two, because I think that's a lot in the Bible, it's talking about the birds, and it's, like, merging everything back to source. It even has this, like, Ouroboros right here, and that's, like, the snake eating its own tail or whatever, and that's, like, just being whole, realizing that when you... When you hurt somebody else, what if it was, waking up in spirituality is like, and this is what the whole point of everything is, so that's what I hope we're getting to. Anyways, but the point of everything is to just be self-aware, see yourself. And if you can see yourself in everything, and you know, like, I, I personally see it broke down on all kinds of crazy levels. But if you know that this is what spirituality is about, is about seeing you in everything because God is in everything or source is in everything or energy is in everyone and everything. If you know that and you can see that, oh, this person is like me. Oh, I, I vibe with this person because they're just like me. You can kind of like see these streams of energies and things. And there's only so many. There's only so many souls. There's only so many spirits. There's not one for every person. We got split up in from these fragmental pieces of God or these divine entities. So everyone's a fragmental piece. We're not the whole piece. We're not the. Uh, 
we are not the original. We're the copy. <laughs> so if we're the copy, then you know there's more copies. And uh, if there's more copies, then that means you're out there somewhere. So you don't know who you are talking to when you're talking to somebody. And if you're mean or rude to this person, that's you being rude to yourself. Don't do anything to anyone else that you don't want done to you because it is you. You see what I'm saying? It is God. When you fuck over somebody else, you're fucking over God. You're fucking over you. So you're going to get that back in that loop. That's why the scorpion, the scorpion comes back to sting himself in the ass. Y'all stabbed yourselves. Ooh, Ooh the master. The master is like, let, let me read this one out of it here. Because these ones are a lot deeper than, um, mm, so the master is, The master would be sorry. Um I keep finding the miser but not the master. Isn't that weird? Oh, right in front of my face. Duh. Page 46. 46 says Beyond mine, there is awareness that is intrinsic. Intrinsic? That is not given to you by the outside and is not an idea, and there is no experiment up to now that has found any center of the brain which corresponds to awareness. The whole work of meditation is to make you aware of all that is mind and uh, to disidentify yourself from it. That very separation is the greatest revolution that can happen to man. Now you can do and act on only that which makes you more joyous, fulfills you, and gives you contentment. Makes your life into a work of art and a beauty. This is the um, but this is only possible if the master is awake inside you. Right now, the master is fast asleep, and the mind, the servant, is playing the role of the master. And the servant is not even your servant. Your servant is created by the outside world. It follows the outside world and its laws. Once you become aware, once your, um, once your awareness becomes a flame, it burns up the whole slavery that the mind has created. There is no blissfulness. Um, more precise than freedom. There's no blissfulness. There's no blissfulness more precise than freedom. Oh, more precious. I was like precise, precise. <laughs> I can't read. I've been up a little bit. More precious than freedom. Being a master of your own destiny. Being a master of your own destiny. I'm gonna pull one rebel tarot deck and leave you guys with that divine information. And let's see what we've got here. What can we get for Scorpio? The last card to let us know how January of 2019 is going to be or what advice Scorpio should have. Shit is going down with your job. Reevaluate. Change your perspective or fucking quit. Hmm. Hmm. So, maybe we need to, like, whoa. We got a few. Mm. Okay, what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you're waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. And then there's a few more. This one says, believe what you see. Face fucking reality or choose to live in, in fucking la la land. Choose bravely. You need a big fucking hug. Squeeze. <laughs> take a shot. Don't take 12, maybe one or two, and then move the fuck on. And eat your vegetables. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. Well, there you have it, Scorpio. 
um, whatever you're doing is unfulfilling with your career, um, which is not anything that you're doing that feels like a job that might be not in alignment with your true self, now's the time to uh, say fuck that shit and move on. Figure out what it is that you truly love to do that you find out what makes you happy when there's no one around when nobody's there to judge you when nobody's there to put their shit on you how do you feel that's why that's that's where we should be looking to like we want to just raise the vibration so in order to do that you have to be the happiest you until you're happy as you you ain't gonna help anybody else and we know Scorpio pretends like they don't like to help anybody, but you guys do. Yeah, give her a sense of, you know, you know how it is. Well, good luck with your job, Scorpio, or whatever you're doing. See you guys next month for your February reading. Please comment, subscribe, like, share. Check out my website, tylerdesantis.com, to book a personal reading. And let me know what you guys think. Bye.